Hello everybody and welcome to my channel, I'm Chief Sweet and today we're going to talk about Brumation and Bearded Dragons. Now if you clicked on this video you might be experiencing a problem right now during the start of winter like fall, right now it's around the end of October, so you might be experiencing something like your bearded dragon sleeping all day, or maybe he's not even basking, he's on the cool side of the enclosure just chilling, sleeping most of the day, not eating, not drinking, not doing anything, and you're terrified. But you do not need to worry, this is actually a very natural process for a bearded dragon, it's pretty much hibernating for a bearded dragon. And they call it brumation, but it's really honestly just hibernation. And that's all they're doing. They're just going down for the winter, sleeping most of the time, and all you have to do is pretty much stick to the same schedule, but you don't have to feed your dragon at all. So pretty much the end of October, you can stop feeding your dragon, and if he's gonna poop, you don't have to worry. A lot of people worry like, it's gonna rot inside of his belly, but if he has any food left in his belly, he's gonna go bask, and this is very important as well, but we'll get to that right after this, but he's gonna go bask and poop that out and just go to sleep. So from the end of October to a about the start of March, you don't have to feed your beer dragon, just let him sleep, let him do his thing, and just keep him there. Don't take him out of the enclosure, just leave him inside of his enclosure and let him sleep during that entire time. But what you will have to do is you don't have to turn off the lights. A lot of people will turn off all the lights. Don't do that. Like I said, if he does want to digest something and he wants to go bask for just a little bit, he needs that option there as well because in the wild, that's how they do it. The sun still comes out. It is colder in the winter, but the sun still comes out and on a warm day, they will go out and just bask and get in some sunlight. But what you can do is lower the amount of time the lights are on. So in the morning, the lights come on at seven. When they go off, you can make them go off at like 5 p.m., just like outside. In the winter time, the sun goes down faster. It's not like nighttime till 9 p.m. at night. It'll go down at five. So like my lighting schedule from March until the end of October, my lighting schedule is about 12 hours. They come on at seven, they go off at seven. But around winter time, when all of my lizards, not even including the beer dragons, like you're a massive, tons of my animals go into brumation. It's a very normal process. But when they go into brumation, I chop that down to like six to eight hours a day. It really just depends. A lot of times I'll do like seven hours and I'll just go with outside. How it, when the sun goes down, it's usually like 5 30. It's like really fast, you know, it goes from 9 30 to 5 30. So you lost four hours and that's what I'll drop it down to. I'll drop it to seven, eight hours. And you can do that as well. And what that is doing is that's mimicking a natural winter cycle. It's not going to stay hot as long. It's going to take a long time to get warm and then it's going to get cool and it's going to be cool longer. So it gives them that natural process, what they're already doing even during that like regular lighting cycle you had before. And I said this before in one of my videos, but I always feel like as soon as you can feel that it's fall, like the air feels crisp, it feels drier, it's cold and it comes in and you're like, oof, it's winter time. So can they. I don't know how, but every time, it's like a feeling, I get outside, I walk outside, I'm like, winter is here. And as soon as I feel that, my beer dragons were already feeling that. And they're already going down, they're already sleeping it out. But there are some things to worry about. If your dragon is doing this, like sleeping all day, he's losing weight during the summertime from March until October, that's different. Beer dragons do not brumate during the summer. That is a sign of something else. Maybe he's sick, maybe something's going on, but if he's doing, maybe his temperatures aren't hot enough, but if he is doing that during the summertime, you need to figure out why that is. You might have to get some poop, take it to the vet, you might have to take him to the vet, check your attempts, make sure they're appropriate, because beer dragons really don't go down not eat and lose weight during the summer. Now, there is something to worry about if your dragon loses weight during the brumation period. Like if he's brumating or hibernating, if you wanna call it, if he's hibernating and he starts losing weight dramatically, then yes, that is something to be worried about as well. But it needs to be very dramatic. It needs to be very noticeable. Like when you look at him, you're like, oh my goodness, he's lost so much weight, it's so noticeable that's when you can worry. Bearded dragons almost will lose no weight at all. They hold it on so good, they conserve that energy, they're in a hibernate, hibernation like state, almost couldn't say it, but they just pretty much hibernate, they conserve all it in there, and when they come out, they look like they've lost no weight at all. They might have, but it's very rare that they look like it. And when that happens, it could be related to like a sickness, an illness, so you might have to take them to the vet, get them on medicine, bump the lights right back up to 12 hours, do it normally, and also you don't have to lower the temperatures in the enclosure, you can still give them the same basking spot temperature all through the brumation period, all the same temps, just cut them down in that amount of time the lights are on. But all you're really doing is just turning the lights down to six to eight hours instead of the 12 hour light cycle. Remember, put them on a timer and pretty much not feeding them. So you get months off of not feeding your dragon. And a lot of people do ask like, is it oh, like, normal for babies to do it. Sometimes they do. Most of the time, all of my bearded dragons, the first year I got them, usually went through brumation. And if they don't, don't worry, it'll happen the second year you have them because they're, you know, like I said, most people keep their houses very warm during the winter. So they might see that and not really get used to it. But then I don't know, the second year, I, I have always had the second year my bearded dragons 
have always went down for brumation. Just, I, I don't know what it is that first year. It is kind of tricky. They don't do it the first year, but the next year, man, they just, it's just in them. Like, and after that, it's just a yearly thing. Every year, just happens again. But that's all I have for this brumation video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like and subscribe. If you have any questions, drop those down below, or you can join my Discord.